What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. Today we're here to talk about the Google Play Services Games Bug. Now this is an issue I've been noticing across all my devices, but for this video we'll just be talking about the problem on Android smartphones. Now the problem shows itself as a reoccurring notification telling us to update Google Play Services, but when we go to the Google Play Store, Google Play Services can't be updated. Another symptom is the inability to sign into Google Play games when playing your favorite Android games, and this means that you can't access or save game data. So in this video, we'll be talking about possible solutions to the problem. Now, if these solutions do or do not work for you, or you find another solution, please let us know in the comments below so we can help other people out. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, for the first possible solution here, we're going to force stop the Google Play Games app. Now, as you see, I have a screen recording in the video, and you can watch that to follow along to see how to do this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to swipe up on the app drawer, and we're going to look for Play Games. It's going to be towards the bottom here. Now, depending on your launcher, how you're going to access the settings for the Google Play Games app is going to vary, but I have the Nova launcher, so we're going to press and hold on the app, and then we're going to look for the information icon. We're going to tap that. And then this will bring us into the app info for the Google Play Games app. Now you see we have three options that are marked in blue and we can go ahead and click force stop. Now this is going to bring up a dialog box. It's basically asking us if we want to force stop the app and it's going to say if you force stop an app it may misbehave. So basically this is like shutting it down so you can restart it. So we're going to hit OK. Now after you've done this, you want to try some of your Google Play games, see if you can log in, and see if you also get that notification that says to update Google Play services. Now if you've tried the first solution and that didn't work, we have another solution here, and that's to clear the cache or the app data in Google Play games. So again, we're going to show you how to do this. We're going to pull up on the app drawer here, and again, we're going to look for Play games. And we're going to press and hold on that and we're going to hit the info button and again we're in app info now you can see towards the middle here we have storage and cache we're going to click on that and then we can either click clear storage or clear cache now if we clear storage that's going to do everything so this app's data will be deleted permanently this includes all files settings accounts databases etc so we're going to go ahead and hit ok now you see when you do that Clear storage and clear cache, they both gray out. So that means that we've done everything we could there. And again, we're gonna try our favorite games here and we're gonna see if that notification finally goes away. So now if you've tried those two solutions and you're still having problems signing into Google Play Games and you're still getting that notification that keeps telling you to update Google Play services, the next solution is to actually just uninstall and reinstall Google Play Games. So we're going to look for the Google Play Store app, and that's going to be the one with the colorful triangle. It looks just like this one here, but if you can't find it on your home screen, you may not have put it there. So I'm going to swipe up. We're actually going to look for it here. It should just be called Play Store, and then we can tap and open that. And then we're just going to do a search for Google Play. You can see I've already done that, so I'm just going to tap on that search, and then we're going to tap on Google Play Games. Now you can see that I only have two options here. There's uninstall and open, and we're gonna uninstall here. So I'll just tap the uninstall button. It's going to give us another dialog box. Do you want to uninstall this app? And we're gonna hit okay. Now once we've uninstalled it, we can hit the install button again. And this is a small app, so it should install fairly quickly here. Now once it's installed, we wanna hit the open button. And we just wanna get it up and going so we can try out our favorite Android games and see if that notification to update Google Play services has actually gone away. Now the last solution that we just tried is a solution that at least temporarily fixed the problem for me. I was able to sign into my favorite Android games and I stopped getting that notification to update Google Play services, but I believe it did come back eventually. However, there was an app update for Google Play Games, and once I installed that, it seems that the problem went away. So what that means is you're going to want to check back regularly on the Google Play Store to see if an update is available for the Google Play Games app on your Android device. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. 
Now there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you will find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you buy off of the Amazon storefront does support the channel. The next way you can support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by hitting that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. When they see likes and subscribers, they think that the videos are useful and the channel is worth watching. So that's pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.